Greetings. My name is VM Bala Bala Subramaniam. I'm with the Ohio State University. I would like to share some of my perspectives on how non-thermal food processing technologies form the basis for promising solution manufacturing healthy processed foods desired by the modern consumers. Today, the food industry is going through a lot of changes with the increased consumer awareness on the role of diet and health and wellness. The diet impact on lifestyle diseases, including diabetics, heart attack, and cancer. With this, there's an increased consumer perception that processed foods are unhealthy. They seek minimal use of synthetic preservatives in processed food and desire nutritious foods with fresh like quality attributes and flavor and color. There are a number of social economic factors come into play. With the increase in affluent middle-class population, they seek healthy processed food options. With the aging population in Western society, they require special nutrition needs. The importance of social science of food in public health settings is being appreciated. The impact of food manufacturing technologies on environment, sustainability, and waste reduction is also being appreciated. As a result, the food industry seek next generation of gentler minimal food manufacturing technologies to overcome the limitations of conventional thermal processing methods. One of the solution is the availability of non-thermal food manufacturing technologies. They use non-traditional lethal agents to reduce thermal exposure of the processed food while making the food safe and nutritious. Examples of non-thermal processing methods include high pressure processing, pulse electrical processing, ultraviolet rays, ultrasound, and cold plasma. They use different mechanism of action to make the food safe while retaining the nutrients. And these are all at different stages of technological development. Among the non-thermal technologies, high pressure processing based technologies gained widespread industrial adaptation since 1997. Initially, they were introduced as a food safety technology, but increasingly the food processors also appreciate the use of the technology for manufacturing clean labeled foods desired by the consumers. Use of high pressure processing for pumpable liquid products being developed Currently, the high pressure processing represents a $15 billion market segment. The application of high pressure and non thermal technology for processing health processed food is being increasingly recognized. There's a growing scientific evidence on how non thermal processing methods can help to preserve the health promoting nutrients and biotic compounds are available. They are capable of simultaneously achieving food safety while preserving antioxidant compounds. Consumption of processed food may lead to increase in plasma vitamin C levels and decrease in levels of oxidative stress inflammation biomarkers. They help to reduce the stabilizers and other synthetic additives in processed food. In summary, non thermal food manufacturing technologies represent a paradigm shift linking food processors design with food safety and nutrition for producing wholesome, nutritious and healthy processed food. We need use of fundamental process engineering principles coupled with biology, chemistry and nutrition in food process design of non-thermal technologies. They should consider how we can ensure the food safety while retaining health promoting compounds and nutrients and simultaneously reduce the use of synthetic food additives and use of natural ingredients. The sustainability and waste reduction potential of these technologies should be investigated. Such ambitious efforts require sustained, long-term, coordinated, integrated, multidisciplinary collaboration among process engineers, chemists, microbiologists, medical scientists, among others. Cooperation among academia, food processor, equipment developers, and policymakers are needed. Universities can also play an important role in educating and training next generation of workforce trained with non-thermal processing methods. 
thank you for the listening uh, and interest in this topic i would be happy to answer any questions you may have through email thank you very much